Hello. Um, this is a demonstration of how to visualize trajectory data sets in Pathfinder. So the first step is um, you should have your trajectory data in a very specific format. And so uh, if we take a look at this file, let's just look at this in Notepad. Um, you'll see that it, there's a very specific set of numbers. So it's the person number, the frame of the frame number of the animation, uh, the um, X, Y, and Z coordinate of that person in the simulation. So uh, here you can see the data over time for person one. If we keep scrolling down, uh, this is quite a long data file, but you know here's person number six, right? So you just each sequentially each person, you know, and their data set over time, what frame they come in and where they go over time, over each frame um, through the space. So there's that. So you have your data set, you have your data in the right format, and then um, you'll create a Pathfinder file that's based on the experimental um, data. And so if we look at this, uh, we, have, we have all of this information here. And uh, essentially the simulation was there was, or, or the experiment was there was a large room, there was a door of a certain width, agents were coming in these doors from these rooms and then moving across kind of a counterflow situation and then to different exit doors depending on their assignment. And uh, so we have that trajectory data. So all we need to do for that is you, you build the geometry the same as the experiment, same dimensions, size, and all of that. And then uh, you just place a single occupant. It can just be any occupant. You just place one in the simulation somewhere. Um, it doesn't really matter what they do um, in this case because all you're trying to do is get, you know, get some results, get all of your result output. And we're going to override the animation information for this particular agent um, after the fact. So we just uh, run that simulation. It takes just a moment. Um, and so we can close this. We, if we play this back now, we'll see you know, the one agent move through the environment. Uh, that's not what we want. So we'll close this out um, and close this. So we'll, let's go back to our directory again. And now we have all of the output data um, from the simulation along with our uh, trajectory data file. So now we just need to update uh, the PFR file. So this Pathfinder results file, let's open that up in a code editor. And so we'll bring that up here and it, it doesn't have very much information in it, but you can see this animation file line. This is what we're going to be replacing with the uh, text file that we have. So uh, we'll come down here and then um, all we need to do then is just grab, um, grab a bit of information. So let me grab that from here. All right. And paste that in here. Just clean it up a touch, um, and so in some of these cases, like uh, we may need to shift the data a little bit to match, you know, the X Y Z coordinates. So you can rotate, you know, rotate by ninety here, scale it by a fraction, offsets, you know, and you can you can do offsets and scales and overrides to like adjust positioning, uh, you know, for the data set to your results. So um, so we have that, and here we have this this data file. Okay. And that's the animation file equals that. So we'll save that. And then all we have to do now is just double click that PFR file again to open it up in the results view and hit play. And then what we'll see is those agents, as they start spawning over time, as their frame triggers, they'll fade in, move uh, through the scene. And we can actually change this view. Let's show them as uh, cylinders. So we can see those agents moving uh, through the scene and going where they did in the experiment. This was data extracted from the experiment and tracking people moving through this cross flow corridor uh, or counter flow uh, situation in this corridor. And so that'll play back over time. And we see, you know, lane formation and all of that stuff. Um, and the agents kind of moving uh, through, through the environment. And so that's it. That's how that works. Um, if you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.